Kia ora, I'm David Chaston with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This is where we get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock with news about separate corruption cases involving Gautam Adani and Matt Gates. But first today, the US labour market is maintaining its strength despite strikes and tropical hurricanes. Last week, only 213,000 people filed for initial jobless claims, well below the prior week, below what was expected for seasonal factors, and below the same week last year. This was a seven-month low. Those job gains are helping their housing market. Existing home sales rose in October by 3.5% from the previous month to an annualised rate of just under 4 million. In contrast to the big jump in the New York region, the Philly Feds factory survey dipped in November. But new order levels remain positive and sentiment ahead did too. It was similar in the same report in the Kansas City Fed, where firms expect increases in production, new orders and employment in their next six months. In India, the depth and pervasiveness of corruption is on display in a case that is gripping the country. The BSE fell half a percent on the news. And Prime Minister Modi is annoyed by the revelations as Adani has been important in his rise. In New York, Indian billionaire Gautam Adani was indicted on bribery charges in a US federal court yesterday, with prosecutors alleging the 62-year-old tycoon and other Indian executives promised more than $250 million to Indian government officials to win contracts. The Americans are prosecuting because Adani did not disclose the bribes and documentation for fundraising in US financial markets, and it was considered to be a material factor for those investments. In Turkey, they reviewed their policy rate and held it at 50%. Turkey has inflation running at 48%. In South Africa, they also reviewed theirs and cut it by 25 basis points to 7.75%. South Africa has inflation running at 2.8% and falling quickly now is back within their target range. Container shipping freight rates were little changed last week. Bulk cargo rates spiked during the week, but ended basically unchanged from last week. The US Treasury 10-year yield is now just on 4.42% and up one basis point from yesterday. And Wall Street started its Thursday little changed, but then rose 0.7% on the S&P 500 and rising when Matt Gates said he won't be the US Attorney General. And the price of gold will start today at $2,649 an ounce and up $26 from this time yesterday. China said it found new gold reserves in central Hunan province. China is the world's largest gold producer, accounting for about 10% of global output. And oil prices are again little changed, up just 50 US cents at just over 69.50 a barrel in the US, while the international Brent price is just over 73.50 a barrel. And the Kiwi dollar starts today at 58.6 US cents and down 10 basis points from this time yesterday. Against the Aussie, we're 40 basis points lower at 90 Australian cents. Against the Euro, unchanged at 55.8 Euro cents. That all means our trade weighted index starts today at just over 68.3 and down 20 basis points from yesterday. You can get more news affecting the economy in New Zealand from interest.co.nz. Kia ora, I'm David Chaston, and we'll do this again on Monday.